Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a pretty cool one for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at two different SyncWire products. The first one here is the 67 watt dual Type-C charger, and the other one is a Lightning Spring Cord car charger. So let's start off with the 67 watt dual Type-C charger, and taking a quick look around the box here are the specs. If you want to pause the video and take a screenshot of it, um, but let's go ahead and get the knife and cut this open. So we'll slice right through this little bit of tape here and open it up. And here's what we have inside. A really neat presentation here. Uh, I'm going to pull this out here. It looks like we have maybe a European style connector. And uh, honestly, I don't even know what these are. There's some sort of connectors for other parts of the world. And then here is the brick itself. Pulling that out, you guys can see standard USA uh, wall prongs right there. It does say sync wire right there in the middle. And there are the two USB-C ports right there port one and two. This first one has a computer and a phone. The second one just has a phone icon. So that lets you know about the wattages it puts out. And if you want it in depth, there you go. You can screenshot that as well or pause it. Looks like top one is 36 watts. Bottom one is 20 watts. If you got them both going, it looks like you can do 45 and 20. So 65 watts max total capacity uh, of output. Here is a cable that is included. And this is a very heavy duty USB-C to USB-C cable. Really like to see that. This is really nice cable. Um, actually, I'm going to open this up here, but I believe this might be the thickest USB-C cable that we've reviewed. Let's take a look here. Wow. Yes, this is quality stuff, guys. Um, you guys can see just how thick this is. This is not going to break on you. It feels very rigid and durable. I really like this cable. So that's included with it. That is always nice to see. Is there anything else? Looks like we've just got little booklets and that's about it. So let's give it a shot and see how it does. Also, in case you're wondering how these work, uh, they just kind of slip on like that. Um, Nothing really complicated about it, but I just don't know what country these are for. Probably European or something like that, but uh, pretty easy to put on and off, but just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so first step, plug it in here. Are there any lights? There are not any lights. There won't be any lights to distract you or blind you if you have, uh, depending on your setup, if it's near a bed or something. So let's go ahead and plug the first USB-C in right here. And uh, the other end, I'm just going to grab a random power bank here and go ahead and plug it in. And let's see if it charges up. Yes, of course it does no issues there at all. So let me quickly go over the wattages for this one again, uh, just so you guys have an understanding. Let's pull it off the charger here, flip up the retractable prongs, which is awesome. Pretty small overall size, um, nothing crazy here, but again, it can output quite a bit. So let's take a quick look at this and I'll just explain. Looks like type C output uh, on the top is 63 watts max. That can be used as a MacBook Air charger and possibly even the smaller MacBook Pro, I'd have to double check. Um, but if you have them both going, uh, they obviously drop down. They're not 65 watts each. So it can do 45 top and 20 bottom for 65 watt total uh, if you were to do that. But if you just use the top one, you can easily charge up um, a smaller MacBook or something small that uses 63 watts of power with no issue. And like I said, this thing's tiny. It is a lot smaller than a lot of the other chargers on the market. It's relatively inexpensive. So I believe this is quite a bit smaller than Apple's charger. A little bit cheaper as well and comes with an included USB-C cable, a very high quality one at that. Um, seriously, probably the most high quality USB-C cable we've seen here. The ports look really good on these and the cable just feels so solid. So check this one out for sure, guys. Links down below. Let's move on to the car charger. So let's say you are in the car, you need to charge up your phone. What will this one do for you? Let's take a look at it and see how it's set up because this one's a little bit unique from the ones we've reviewed on the channel previously. Nothing else in the box. Set that off to the side. So here is the charger end itself has a non-detachable piece right here, as well as an extra USB-A slot. So it doesn't really hog up too much of your space. So let's take a look and inspect, make sure it looks good. Uh, this does claim to be MFI certified. I'm going to, uh, after the fact, I'm going to go onto Apple's MFI website and double check that this product is indeed certified. And I will put it on the screen here and let you guys know if it is certified on that site or not, uh, because a lot of things on Amazon say they're certified, but they're not really. So I always double check in my reviews. So again, it will be on the screen uh, if it is MFI certified or not, just to let you guys know. Now let's talk about the quality here. This tip looks pretty good. I don't see any major issues. It's in there pretty good. It looks solid. And then this part feels like metal. So I think this is actually a metal tip here. This part is hard plastic. And then this is a braided cable all the way down. This is actually a coil. So uh, it can get out of its own way, if you will. Uh, like when you're not using it and you just need to put it up, it coils up which is super nice actually, because the other ones, they just kind of dangle there. So I really do actually like that. I think this is the first coiled one that we've reviewed here. Now let's take a look at the actual unit itself here. So here it is, it says sync wire, uh, looks very well made. It's got a little red accent here, which they really didn't even have to do because you never see that once it's plugged in. Um, 
I don't, it may, looks like maybe one light here. We're gonna try it out and see. Here are the outputs, if you want to know. Looks like the USB-A is five volt, 2.4 amps, 32 watt maximum, so I'm assuming that's combined. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how it does. So of course, I've got my handy dandy car charger right here. Basically simulates being in a car. And here we go, it is powered on, you guys can see. It's got a small little blue light here, but now let's see if it really charges up. So grabbing the iPhone here, let's see, will it charge? Yes, it does, no issues there. 51% and charging up. And like I said, this is retractable. If you're in the car and you just have it mounted on something like this, it'll be out of the way. But if you need to pull it and you know someone else needs to talk on the phone, you can do that and then bring it right back. I really like this design. Uh, this is probably the design I would go for if I had one of these in my car. I think it looks a lot better to have a uh, coiled up cord. Overall, I really like this one, guys. As you guys can see, charging up, no issues. I'm gonna unplug it here and do one last quick look at it. It's 32 watts total output if you combine them, 20 watts power delivery, and it just comes in a really sleek package. It doesn't break the bank. Pretty good deal for what you're getting. Uh, and of course it's sync wire quality, so definitely should last a while. So check it out guys. Links to both of these products down below in the description. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.